Guys, good morning. Happy Wednesday. It's Daryl here. It is 5 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. And I just wanted to talk a little bit more uh, about Donald Trump and his cutting off funding to the WHO, the World Health Organization. Um, it's coming out a little more today, um, some of it, Trump's interviews. Uh, I mean... It's obvious here that he's trying to put blame uh, anywhere else but on, his, on, on himself. There's a clear-cut timeline. I mean, you could find this anywhere on the Internet. Uh, the timeline, uh, starting around January 22nd, January 24th. I remember this specifically. Um, but then into February, and, and there's uh, the whole thing is there's documentation uh, along this whole timeline. Uh, of him poo-pooing it, of him calling it a hoax, um, of him putting off the ventilators. The, the, the famous words about, uh, it's, we only got 15 people sick in the country. Next week, it'll be 10, 5, and it'll be gone. It'll just disappear. You know, we got this under control. His words from February. As we're approaching, uh, I think in America this morning, I, I believe we got 24,000 people dead. Um, the estimates now are looking at about 60,000 in August, 60,000 Americans dead in the period of approximately six months. So if you want to divide that up, that'd be what, 10,000 Americans per month. This is what I want to talk about uh, in this video. In these interviews yesterday where he's talking about the WHL, He's, Trump particularly emphasizes that he, he's not happy in the way that, this is what it comes down to, in the way that the World Health Organization seems to uh, be getting along good with China. Uh, they said that China had transparency. You know, they did what they could. It started in the wet markets in China and Wuhan province. Uh, China totally agrees with that. Transparency, it seems, everything seems above board. Uh, and if you look back in the timeline, China warned other countries that this would be coming coming out. Um, they had their hands full, obviously, with what was blooming right there. Um, I mean, you have to remember, too, that what we're dealing with in these last couple of weeks, they were dealing with at that time. They had their hands full, too. But I, anyway, the World Health, Health Organization... Uh, Donald Trump isn't happy. He wants to put more blame on China and the World Health Organization, of course. Uh, this has been, this, it's, it's just, it's become so predictable that uh, this man can't accept any kind of responsibility. The buck does not stop here. The buck, uh, the buck, the buck passes right by here uh, to, to uh, bring up the, the words of Harry S. Truman. This is the point. This is what I'm afraid of. Say come August. Well, like I said, I made a video talking about this, but I still see it as a strong possibility. The flag wavers, uh, the Bible thumpers, the MAGA people, they're going to want somebody to blame. Uh, we're going to get closer to the election. Let's say August. Let's say midsummer, late summer. And uh, Trump is down in the polls right now. We could, if we assume that he'll be down in August, I, I, I can only see Trump supporters. They're going to see this, this uh, coronavirus as ruining Donald Trump. And we all see what this cult of Trump, what they do, how they react when anything uh, comes in their sphere of, of Trumpism. You know, they attack, they boycott, they freak out, they, you know. And so this is what worries me. Uh, I've said this before. I get this bad feeling that this, this year could be worse. And what I'm referring to here is some kind of uh, military action between us and China. I, I mean, I hate to even say those words, but I might as well just cut to the chase. Um, this is what I'm afraid of. I, I, th I believe in August, Donald Trump... And his cult of Trumpers here are, are going to, they're going to take the tally. They're going to say, this is how many Americans are dead and they're going to need somebody to blame. The, the economy is going to be, it's, it by then it should be rebuilding. 
but it's going to have taken a monumental, historic hit, uh, never, never seen before in this country. And again, Trump supporters are going to cry over the tr what they perceived as Trump's beautiful economy being ruined. And again, they're going to look for somebody to blame because that's how they operate. I can see no other outcome, and it's unfortunate because it scares me. Um, I, I see the flag wavers um, talking. You know, I could see this coming in, in uh, August. Um, it scares me that that this virus could just be the first step in what could be a very, very uh, bad year for the or bad couple of years for the entire uh, the entire world. Um, but I, I think you guys see what I'm talking about here. Um, I, I really, you can see it already blooming with, uh, right now, Trump was, yesterday, he was talking about how uh, China's to blame because because they hid hid stuff from him. And, and it, it's just amazing how this man, it, it's like pathological lying. It, it really is. Because we, I mean, the proof is all right here in the timeline. His own words, his very own words words um with him not giving enough attention to this virus we could see it all unfolding and yet he denies it it's just it's such a uh, a bizarre uh situation and and the trump supporters just go right along with it uh just changing reality as it happens but anyway this is what i fear um there's going to be a tally, and there's going to be a need to assign blame, because that, that's what Trump does. And then with the election coming, um, they're going to need to put the focus off of Donald Trump, without a doubt. And this, this worries me. Um, it needs to be disproven. Uh, um, I think it's a dangerous, a danger. It could be a very dangerous situation with, uh, you know, once you start military conflict with China, it could develop into a world war easily. I and mean, this could be the end of days. I hate to say this stuff. I hear myself say this stuff, and I don't want to say it. I don't want to be one of those people, the the doom and gloom sayers. But um, it's something I look at as a possibility, um, and I, I try to figure out ways that um, all of us as um u.s citizens a, a, a way that we could divert this this potential what 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 might hopefully i'm wrong um you know but what could be a lot worse um i, I i'm afraid that uh a lot of americans too particularly trump supporters i think i think they talk about america being great and i'm not i love america but I think they've been brainwashed into thinking that we had this unique uh, advanced society here and the rest of the world is living in mud huts. Um, you know, and I think when they think of China, they think of little huts like in Vietnam they used to see in the 60s. And uh, all you need to do is Google a picture of, say, Shanghai and you will not see a... Let me tell you, man, you're not going to see, you're going to see infrastructure and uh, high rise buildings that will rival anything here we have in America. And I, I think uh, that's what I, I worry about, too, is that uh, Trump supporters have this this foggy view of the rest of the world. Um, again, I, I saw more posts on Facebook yesterday, and one of the Trump supporters was talking about the well, us being the wealthiest country in the world. And uh, the healthiest and wealthiest. And I, I had to, I usually don't bother even commenting, but I, I had to. Um, we, we are neither one of those. Uh, we're not the healthiest. We're not the wealthiest. We're not the smartest. Um, we're not the most generous. You know, the one thing we are the most of, we, we, we put the most money towards military weapons. We have the most, uh, we're the most focused on killing other people. That's, I think that's what we could take credit for. But um, I think that's uh, that scares me too. That um, Trump supporters just to seem seem to have this 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 idea that it's all like a movie. That um, if they're if you know they talk about war like it's no big deal, and um, nuking other countries, and, you know, and 
I'm not sure if, you know, from their armchair, they realize what they're actually talking about. Um, you know, the vaporization of, of hundreds of thousands of people. Anyway, I'm rambling. Uh, it's something that worries me. Uh, and I, I can't, it, as each day goes by, I see it unfolding more in that direction. Uh, a, a, a time in August where there's going to be a huge amount of trying to place blame from the Trump camp, from the MAGA people, trying to place bl blame probably primarily on China. And I don't think China will respond well. And I really think it could unfold into a... Uh, something even worse than the virus and I, I don't like saying that but i have to um all right those are my thoughts let me know what you guys think all right you guys have a good wednesday